Stibine, IUPAC name, stibane, is a chemical compound with the formula antimony 3 hydride. A nictogen hydride, this colorless gas is the principal covalent hydride of antimony, and a heavy analog of ammonia. The molecule is pyramidal with HSBH angles of 91.7 degrees and SBH distances of 170.7 pm, 1.707 a. This gas has an offensive smell like hydrogen sulfide, rotten eggs. Preparation Antimony 3 hydride is generally prepared by the reaction of Sb3 plus sources with H minus equivalents. 2 antimony 3 oxide plus 3 LiAlH4 4 antimony 3 hydride plus 1.5 lithium oxide plus 1.5 aluminium oxide. 4 antimony 3 chloride plus 3 NaBH4 4, 4 antimony 3 hydride plus 3 sodium chloride plus 3 BCl3 Alternatively, sources of Sb3- react with protonic reagents even water, to also produce this unstable gas. Sodium antimonide plus 3 H2O antimony 3 hydride plus 3 NaOH Properties the chemical properties of antimony 3 hydride resemble those for ash 3. Typical for a heavy hydride, e.g., ash 3, hydrogen telluride, tin 4 hydride, antimony 3 hydride is unstable with respect to its elements. The gas decomposes slowly at room temperature but rapidly at 200 degrees Celsius. 2 antimony 3 hydride 3H2 plus 2 SBTHE decomposition is autocatalytic and can be explosive. Antimony 3 hydride is readily oxidized by O2 or even air. 2 antimony 3 hydride plus 3 O2 antimony 3 oxide plus 3 H2O SBH3 exhibits no basicity, but it can be deprotonated. Antimony 3 hydride plus NaNH2 NaSBH2 plus NH3. Uses Stibine is used in the semiconductor industry to dope silicon with small quantities of antimony via the process of chemical vapor deposition CVD. It has also been used as a silicon dopant in epitaxial layers. Reports claim the use of antimony 3 hydride as a fumigant but its instability and awkward preparation contrast with the more conventional fumigant phosphine. History as stibine antimony 3 hydride is very similar to arsine ash 3 it is also detected by the marsh test this sensitive test detects arsine generated in the presence of arsenic this procedure developed around 1836 by james marsh is based upon treating a sample with arsenic free zinc and dilute sulfuric acid if the sample contains arsenic gaseous arsine will form the gas is swept into a glass tube and decomposed by means of heating around 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. The presence of arsenic is indicated by formation of a deposit in the heated part of the equipment. The formation of a black mirror deposit in the cool part of the equipment indicates the presence of antimony. In 1837 Lewis Thompson and Pfaff independently discovered stibine. It took some time before the properties of the toxic gas could be determined, partly because a suitable synthesis was not available. In 1876 Francis Jones tested several synthesis methods, but it was not before 1901 when Alfred Stock determined most of the properties of stibine. Safety Antimony 3 hydride is an unstable flammable gas. It is highly toxic, with an LC50 of 100 ppm in mice. Toxicology For the toxicology of other antimony compounds, see antimony trioxide, the toxicity of stibine is distinct from that of other antimony compounds, but similar to that of arsine. Stibine binds to the hemoglobin of red blood cells, causing them to be destroyed by the body. Most cases of stibine poisoning have been accompanied by arsine poisoning, although animal studies indicate that their toxicities are equivalent. The first signs of exposure, which can take several hours to become apparent, are headaches, vertigo, and nausea, followed by the symptoms of hemolytic anemia, high levels of unconjugated bilirubin, hemoglobinuria, and nephropathy. 
See also Antimony SB Arsene Ash 3 Devarda's alloy, also used to produce arsine and stibine in the lab List of highly toxic gases Marsh test, first used to analyze ash-3 and antimony-3 hydride James Marsh, invented the Marsh test in 1836 Nascent hydrogen References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0776 NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Fiche Toxicologique N Degree 202, Trihydroerdantimoine. PDF. Institut National de Recherche et de Sécurité, INRS, 1992.